Right, leaving Dolbury. More troubles with cameras. When I put reset, it kept on playing up, so it wouldn't it work. I had to put the date in. It was really strange. So I'm now going to take a path in a minute that will take me into Row Barrow Warren. So we've left, we'll be leaving Dalbury now. It's, it's, a, it's cooler at the moment. The sun is in and out today. It's quite hot when it comes out. So it's nice to have these periods cool off as well. It's nice to have these periods to cool off. I've just got to make a decision soon whether I want to follow the stream or do a wander through. So I just got to pick the right path up. Now there's one down through there. I think I'll go. That's th that'll take you to Burrington Coombe, by the way. Great big coombe up there. Or you can go up to the area of outstanding natural beauty up on the Mendip Hills. Or you can go straight down this track. Will also take you back, um, and you can pick up the stream and go right round the edge. <sighs> But my plan today is to turn off here and there's a sharp turning just here. I've been down here. It's a nice walk. This is a lovely, pleasant walk. Um, I'm going to turn off here. Wait a minute. I've got to get over this obstacle. Camera's been playing off. I'm half expecting it to play up again in a minute. I have to keep resetting the date. Right. There's another path with parallel with that one that you can also follow okay there's a lot of little paths this is all cut out by fierce water and rain and uh, in front of me very soon will be Roborough Warren and it's still got some bluebells out which is what I half expected the area of outstanding beauty to be a purple haze again. The last time I came up here, it wasn't. And there was no sign of ferns either. But they are all out now. What I've got to do, I've got to bear off in a minute and go into the wood a bit. Otherwise I'll end up on that long track I took before, which takes me up a very long windy hill to get to the area of Outstanding Beauty. And then you go down to Tinian's Farm, Piney Slikes, all that, you know. Well, I'm going to be turning right at some point. But not at the moment. Not at the moment. <sighs> Some bluebells out. Mixing with the ferns. <sighs> like I've probably got to go a little way along this track before I turn off. <sighs> It's always good to refresh your memory about these different paths because they do slightly change over time. They get wider, they get landscaped as well. And different times of year they look different as well. Right, I'm going to turn off and take some pictures of the bluebells. Over and out. Right, last time I came over this way, I came up along this track, past the lovely spruce trees. Really, there was, you could walk through there, there was no ferns, and there was a lot more logs here, they've gone. 
I went down there, narrow track, to get onto the area of Outstanding Beauty. I had to get, but I still had to go up a long way. Today I'm going up there. Which is what I should have done before, but it didn't matter. I've just still enjoyed that walk I did up there. And there's the area of Outstanding Beauty ahead. Over there. And from here last time I could see ponies. But I went down that narrow one. I've been down that one and up that one several times. Lovely views from here. I would come across several junctions. I'm now going to walk up this hill. I sometimes walk through the wood. And I took some beautiful images of these tall trees when I was here. So we now go up here. Um, I should probably not be doing any of the stream. There's plenty of time to do that when it's really hot. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've got a sweet. Right, over and out again. More video. Right, instead of taking the narrow track, I'm coming up the broader one. Um, I have explored these tracks in bits and pieces over the years. But there are also new tracks constantly appearing. So sometimes I might sort of get lost for a few minutes. But it doesn't matter. I just keep going that way, that's the theory. Anywhere you branch off now, it takes you downhill. Uh, you don't want to be going back down that way, although it's probably a lovely walk. Because you would have just been going round in circles otherwise. But of course, the, it's for the bikes a lot of this as well, the, the bikers. So, sometimes when you haven't been somewhere for a while, or it was a different season, you can, and all the plantation trees often look alike, not these so much, and there's lots of junctions, you can actually get a bit lost, but you just have to keep walking till you find something you recognise, and if there's time to spare, like I've got a little bit of time, not a lot, but a little bit of flexibility that's allowing me to wander like this. It's allowing me to do a bit of wandering. <sighs> Somebody lost their jumper, look. Be full of ticks. Yeah, they get in that. Charles jumper, Batman. <sighs> yeah. Little Batman thing, that'd be riddled with spiders and ticks and stuff. Now all the time we're walking along here, the, outs the area of Outstanding Beauty is only just to our left. So if I did decide I wasn't like, I wanted to change my mind bro, and go back through Cheddar, I would just branch off around that like that, see? But the plan is really to go back 
to Shipham and back to Winscombe. Um, I do do that walk sometimes. I do do that walk sometimes. So that's been culled that little wood there, hasn't it? But, uh, these look more like elms. I'm just doing little sections, and you've got to remember that when I'm doing, when you watch a video, you're only seeing a snippet. You're not seeing the whole walk by any means. I don't video the whole walk. I used to. I tend to just do snippets now and join them up and take photos. This is quite a main track. Oh, God. I'm glad it's cool, actually. I am glad it's cool. Right, I'm going to turn off now because I want to take a picture of the scene. Over and out. I know I could. Right, that is a gate where I could easily go now back to Cheddar. No worry about cows or anything going that way. So easy just to go that way. So easy just to do that. But it's not the plan. You've got to look at your swatch and make a decision. It's 20 to 2. No, we're going to go this way. I want to go down the... I've got to do it. And that's, I like going that way because I know it's safe. I know it's safe if I go that way. If we go this way, we can go down where the stream is. Now, I've walked through all these woods before and I've done some walks. We should come to another junction in a minute and it forks. And uh, if you want the longer walk, you go, you go left. Or if you want the shorter walk, well, it ain't shorter, but it takes you more to, hopefully, to the stream. So, although I thought about, well, it's looking at my gate, it's gone now. I did that the other week, so, yeah, I've wandered up through the years, these... This is just Christmas trees. We've got four hours. We've got four, four and a half hours to get to Winscombe. And we don't have to panic yet. You don't have to panic, Sheila. I know, I know I don't. It's very, very quiet today, though. I mean, I know I like it quiet, but there isn't anyone about. It is a bit unusual, really. It's gone very silent. <laughs> it's just the way I go if I'm going to look for the area of outstanding natural beauty. I go that way. <sighs> and in a minute we'll come to a fork. Now we can go left if you want. There we are. It's coming up now. You can go left, Sheila, and hook your way around. Why don't you do that? Hook your way around. Okay. If you haven't done it for a while, so why don't you do it? Yep, yeah, I'm going to. Of course, they're developing different areas of the wood for the bikers, letting some areas recover, I think. That was well used. It looks like it's it looks like it's being recovered now. So I soon find reference points for myself. That's why it's good to come out here a couple of times a year, really, so that you don't get lost. That you your features change. 
features change. This could be, this is the one I think. Normally I'd come up from that side and come straight up here and go onto the area of outstanding natural beauty. But I haven't been up this way for a while, so today, because we've got a little bit of leeway with time, we'll go this way. Quite often there's piles and piles of logs here. There's not a lot of stacking, I've noticed. There was earlier when I came in a couple of months ago. We now go this way. I actually like walking in the woods sometimes because otherwise you it's a completely different experience in the wood if you know what I mean now I haven't done this one for a while so we won't be lost but we it'll be a while so we have to draw on reference points and past walks in our head because I normally would do the other one Right, over and out again.